Everybody, it's George here today, back on some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and Season 2 was very recently released, uh, with a few new things, we've got some new weapons, a new operator, and a new battle pass to grind through. There's also this event, which I haven't really checked out yet, I don't really understand it to be honest, but I'm going to walk through all of this, um, probably on multiplayer, because my desire for war zone is very low, and I really want the cross though. So hopefully we'll be able to get through that. The battle pass looks really, really good this season with the tier 100 skin. <laughs> I don't know if I rate it as much as the last one. I mean, I don't know. I think the samurai stuff's cool uh, on the back and stuff. So yeah, I think it's pretty decent. But I'm mainly really excited to get this Untrained Fury blueprint. Um, it's not animated or anything. I just think it looks really, really clean. So I'm quite excited to use that. And also the sight on it is really, really nice. So... I'm quite excited for that actually, um, so yeah, Battle Pass looks good, um, everything looks good, there's a few new bundles in the store, if you have the money to buy them, um, there's this uh, Tracer Pack Shinobi Blueprint which looks awesome, I uh, might be getting that in the very near future, there's also this Weapons Locker which reminds me distinctly of the Weapons Vault that you got if you got like the main edition like I did, um, yeah, overall looks pretty good, this is the new operator, this is Ronin, uh, here he is in all his glory. It's obviously the basics here, and I haven't unlocked the um, like the full version. Uh, not not even close. I barely don't think I've played a game yet this season, but uh, looks pretty good. Anyway, and Dome. They've remade this map once again. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about them remaking the map, considering they literally just remade it for Vanguard. So I, like this map was on Vanguard in this exact same way, except this was like a beach or something. But everything is exactly the same as it once was, and I don't know why they've chosen to remake this map certainly so early into the game. It seems a bit stupid in my opinion, but I guess that's the decision that they've made. Oh, I bricked. Um, so, I mean, I already know my way around this map very well, considering I played it so much on Vanguard last year, so there's not going to be any learning curve necessarily. But it is literally the exact same. From what I can tell, they've made, like, actually no alterations to it at all and then just simply remade the map. They didn't, they didn't even have to change it from the last mo Modern Warfare 2 very much, because obviously it's set in almost the exact same time period. So, uh, I mean, I, I like them. I won't complain about it too much. They definitely could have picked much worse maps, but I feel like they could have picked a few different ones before going straight back to remaking this map again. Um, it would have been nice to see some new maps. I also wanted to see Terminal War Wars as well. Um, if it's not obvious, I'm currently working through the Marksman Rifles, but the M13 Carbine is a horrible mess. But um, yeah, I'm currently working through the MK2 Carbine. I need to get long shots on SMGs. Long shots are definitely taking by far the longest, obviously. Um, well, I can only really do them consistently on Shoot House, so if Shoot House 24-7 isn't an option, I'm just working through like all of the other guns, um, instead of trying to pay myself and do long shots on any random map, because it's just not consistent, it's just simply not as good, and I'm much better off doing something else. Especially for this time when shipment 24-7 isn't even in the game, so all of the grinding is just completely gone. Um, I think the, the only 24-7 playlist at the moment is this one, which has got Dome and the Valderas Museum. I suppose you could technically say it's a new map, but we got it in the beta to try it out, and it was advertised as an on-release game, uh, like map, sorry, and then they just didn't put it in on release. I think it was due to like copyright reasons or something. But it still seems stupid in my opinion, um, and it's really quite annoying, but... I guess at least it's here now. I, I was a fan of the map, to be fair, when it came out in the beta. I was hoping to see it on release, and it just was not there. There's a guy in here. I can hear his footsteps. Oh, no, it's my teammate. Nice. Why? In the outro, now it will just be... Because, like, that's what people at the marks and rifles are pretty good. But it's the SBR and the uh, MK2 carbine, which are shots. They are disgusting. Yeah! Hello, everyone. I'm having quite a good time. Which, uh, which... Call of Duty. I'm just gonna run multiplayer because, like, cameras. Uh, not a long time, probably. Two minutes. That's big. Oh, fair enough. Oh, we just got creamed. 
Yeah, you mean it's a zero to a hundred one. Basically. <laughs> What's gonna be? Oh, it was final kill. Nice. Okay, thank you all for watching and goodbye. Season 2 looks pretty good. I'm optimistic for the future of the game. Hopefully they'll add some more 6v6 maps, but right now we're staying quite good. Right. I really do want them to add more 6v6 maps.